What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test five more survival gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. For the next gadget I got here inflatable life jacket. Perfect for surfing, puddle boarding, kayaking. You think of different ways you could use this. In case you don't want to really wear the full on life jacket because it's too big, you can always turn this on how it works. As you can see, well curl all around it, and once you inflate it, um, it will stay inflate till you, I guess, deflate it yourself. And it's going to open it up, but it is, as you can see, really easy to fold it back up. It comes with a CO2 tank, and you need one of those bigger CO2 tanks, like this one. I think this is a 24 gram CO2 tanks. The kitchen ones usually only like 8 grams. The way it works, once we push the cottage in, this will lock in. And when you push on that, that will release the needle and pop open the CO2 cottage. And it's supposed to fill it up. Okay. So twist it to the side. There you go. Okay, good. Don't pull on this. So very, very easy to set up. Now I'm going to close the wheel curl back. Also. You have some space right here for survival kits, whatever, maybe snack bars and whistle. This is cool. And I'm gonna close the Velcro all the way around and I'm gonna jump in in the pool and try to inflate it while I'm wearing this. We'll see how well it's going to deploy it. Okay, let's put it on, just like a regular jacket, but it has two pieces right here. Put it in, and then right here you can adjust it very, very easily. And then you can tie it up. So, it folds around my back. I'm super tall, obviously, as usual, that's a little bit of a problem for me. Put this all the way back, so that way it's not in the way. Nice. Okay, let's go jump in in the pool. The best part about this life jacket, I can still swim without having this big bulky life jacket keep making you float. Also, I can dive and this thing doesn't pop me back up. So when I need it, I can always use it. But unless I lose conscience, then it probably will be bad. Okay guys, let's try to deploy it and see how it works. Whoa, this is cool! <laughs> I was kind of scared a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't keep this so tight. But yeah, it supports my neck so really, really well. In case I hurt my neck, it will keep it pretty steady in the water as well. Wow, I can't believe it. This thing is so amazing. Now I can float. Can I swim? Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Very uncomfortable to swim. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Life jackets in a way to swim. They bulky. But this one, choking you a little bit. So you just have to position your neck right. And yeah, I can float like that forever, unless this thing pops. All you have to do to deflate it, just grab a cup on the other side and press it and it will deflate pretty quickly, as you can see. And then all you have to do is just reset it, put a new cartridge. Definitely an amazing gadget. Probably most advanced life jacket right here. When I was camping out in Florida and the Manatee Springs, almost every night raccoons would come out and try to mess with my tarash. Even if I try to hang it on a tree and stuff like that, they climb it and still mess with that and wake me up and stuff like that. So I found a really cool gadget against animals, raccoons, squirrels, rats mice, all that rotten stuff, so that way they don't make a mess. I guess you can use it for trash or anything else in there, so that way rotten's does not mess with it. I never seen anything like that before. This is pretty new to me. Let's open it up. I got the large. They have obviously very different sizes. Whoa, this is really big. I gotta back up a little bit. So obviously you can stick a lot of stuff in there really heavy 
antique Velcro inside here. Super nice. And I have a bunch of camping food, just for example. So yeah, you can even store food inside of it, so that way raccoons do not mess with it. Very, very nice. Wow, I love it. This has got to be one of the coolest gadgets in a long time. So, especially raccoons, they're so smart. They know how to take apart trash. So, that way hopefully they won't mess with trash. And I don't have a raccoon to put it to the test, but it kind of makes sense, right? They hopefully they won't be able to go through and make a big mess around your camp. For the next survival gadget, I got here Soul Mug Striker. Probably one of the biggest commercially made survival fire strikers I ever seen. Usually you can buy this size, but it's a kind of handmade style. So as you can see, this is plastic and big burn made it. Let's see if it's actually any good. First, I'm just gonna test the magnesium. Shaving up magnesium really well. This is more like a stack, I would say. I'm gonna do a lot so you guys can see if it's going to light up easily or not. Whoa, that's a lot of sparks, okay? Whoa, that magnesium is so good. Look at that. Hot coals everywhere. Still burning. Oh my gosh, this is one of the best magnesium flints I have ever tested. Did you see that? And it sparks every single time. Super high quality, the striker and magnesium, wow. Okay, real quick, one more time. Get a bunch of flakes of magnesium. I like that it's big and pretty comfortable to hold it even with my big hands. Okay, there goes magnesium. And we got this going. And because I opened it up, now it's gonna be a lot easier to light everything up. And we got the fire going. Boom, with the dry grass and this magnesium flint, very, very high quality, I love it. I was honestly did not think it's gonna be that good. I thought it's gonna be maybe third or fourth strike the magnesium will light up. Every time with one spark, it lights up really well. Make sure you have some kind of dry kindling and keep that fire going, very nice. For the next survival camping gadget, I got here washing machine for camping. Clean clothes anywhere. So this is pretty much a dry bag, except it made like a washing machine because it's a little bit different. Looks like inside of it, a little pointy sticks in here and it feel rubbery, you see what I'm saying? So that way you fill up your dirty clothes in here and it actually tells you how to do it. You can obviously follow these steps, but I have a better idea. Let me show you. So what you can do is just use a little bit of water, fill it up, wash it out and dump it out. But if you have very strong stream like this, you can use this as natural washing machine. Obviously use all natural soap and then you just put your clothes inside there that you wanna wash. Mostly, hopefully it's not that dirty, just sweaty. You don't water. Uh, it says the level of water you wanna do. I'm gonna do the medium. I put shorts and the t-shirts. Then I'm gonna lock it up just like that. But you see there's plenty of air. No problem. There is a nozzle right here that is going to deflate. You wanna deflate it all the way. And then obviously you can just wash it like this just like a washing machine for three minutes whatever but what i'm going to do is put the rope on this end then i'm going to grab this and put it on a heavy stream somewhere like that you want to find a really good current so that way it twists and turns in there and that way it's washing it just like in a washing machine as you can see also maybe you can drop it in that corner just tie up the rope somewhere and let it run and the clothes is going to get really really cleaned up because it's get beat up inside of it and you don't have to worry about soap escaping because it's like a dry bag it will contain all the soap inside of it so then you can open it up and dump out water into the ground and obviously you know what to do next just take it off 
dump out all the water, rinse it off from the soap if you added any and then you're good to go. So there you go, camping washing machine. For this gadget I got here butane camping stove igniter. Okay, let's start out with one of this camping stove. Lights up with the first or second spark really, really easily. So this is a cool igniter to have. Now let's see how well it's going to work after we're going to moist it. Okay, there goes nothing. Put it on the water. Okay, we're gonna try to dry it out. It does not ignite. So it's a fail. Okay, it's been a long time. Let's see if this thing works again. It's completely died. What a fail. It's been a very long time and I would think it would die out by now. So if you drop it in the water, it will die beyond return. So I definitely would not allow this thing camping or survival situation in case it's going to get wet and won't work anymore. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe and I'll see you next time.